Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Java with Jim. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my good friend, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. We're here again with our friend, John Barnack, and <laughs> we are talking about real estate. When I'm feeding down, I can't wait. Pour a strong cup of coffee and I tune in. I'm waking on up to Java with Jim. I now I know my best day can begin. Yeah. Hey Jim, what are you drinking today? You know, I'm drinking what they call water in a coffee cup. I'm over at Panera Bread, and uh, we're just having a good time. They have a great thing called the Sip Club. You pay a little bit every month, and you drink as much as you like through the week. Now, the more important question is, what are you having in your cup, Jim Meyer? Mike, my, uh, my coffee today is a little bit weak and unguarded, like our southern border. John, how are you doing today, my friend? <laughs> John, in real estate, what do you think is the biggest challenge in real estate? Um, uh, I'll speak from like an agent perspective. Um, we've kind of done both like agent investor side, but I think on the agent side, um, I think the biggest challenge is like people don't treat it like a, a business. Mm -hmm. And I think so many people get into the real estate business or industry and they put like a hobby type effort into it, but they expect it to pay it like very, very well. And uh, I give you like a, a very easy example, something that took me a long time to learn was the concept of a client for life mm -hmm. and having systems in place and having like good people around you to, to support you. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many, maybe tens or dozens or hundreds of transactions I potentially missed out on just because I didn't treat my business like a business when I first started. I just, I basically just tried to wing it. And I think a lot of people get in, they wing it, or they like just kind of roll with the punches and they just continue to do that and do that and do that. And then one day they're like 80 years old, still showing houses and like, well, I didn't really have a plan. I didn't build a business. I didn't really create anything substantial for myself, like while I was here. So don't let it pass you by and treat it like a business from day one. Still start over. with the, start with the end in mind. Start with the end in mind. Exactly. Jim, do you have any follow up? No, I think it's been great knowing you, uh, John, just through these interviews, the questions here. And, you know, it's really in incredible in terms of uh, just what you've been able to accomplish. Prior to this, I know we talked a little bit about your profession. Um, what really inspired you to keep going? It sounds like you're really successful. Are you planning on just kind of tapering things off or just moving full steam ahead? Keep going forward. Oh, my. So, Jim. My goal is to uh, get paid to do nothing. <laughs> that's, that's where I want to end up in my career. But I think um, the idea of retirement is different for me. Um, I don't see myself as a person that can just sit on a beach all day and, and drink from a coconut, although I love coconut drinks. You know, who doesn't? Um, I can see myself traveling or like doing fun stuff like that. But even I think that after time, living out a suitcase might get kind of boring. Um my number one for me is family. I want to spend as much time with my family as I can. I want to build a business. I want to create systems that generate revenue for me while I'm doing the things that I love and I'm passionate about. I love giving to people. I love contributing, coaching, mentoring. There's nothing more rewarding than teaching someone a skill or, or helping someone develop um, like a new way of doing something that allows them to be more successful. And like that, that's the most rewarding thing to me. So I think at some level, I'm always going to do some sort of coaching, mentoring, uh, giving back. Uh, I think if all goes well, the businesses that I'm building now will pay me enough that I can just do that stuff and, and not like have to charge people for it. It's just literally something I get to do because I'm passionate about and I love to see you know people win out there. Let's wow, win. that is really good. Not unlike my friend Jim Meyer, who loves people by nature. Also an incredible realtor. I had to throw that in there, Jim. That's right. He Please. knows that he's people. Okay. Um, John, will you come back uh, tomorrow for one more episode? You know what? I think I can handle one more with you guys. <laughs> you guys, uh, thank you so much. All right, we'll see you again tomorrow.